Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to The Shrouded Isle, a sort of strategy management-y game as I understand it, but about running an evil cult that's planning for a big sacrifice to the dark god below. Now that's an idea I can get behind. Also, I like in the setting chair, it looks really gorgeous with this kind of very distinctive like colour scheme. You can change it if you want, like the default colour scheme is scorching light, but if I want to I can make that into poison ivy or sacramental wine. So that's nice, but you know what, let's stick with the default, scorching light seems nice. 497 years ago our founders saw that humanity would perish, except the worthy. Our lord will return in glory to reward the faithful, yet there are sinners in our community. Oh, gotta get rid of them before Dark Lord Alhazared returns. As High Priest, I must select a sinner to sacrifice every season. Three years until Judgment Day. If we are free from sin, he will save us from this suffering. Aha! So I've got to hunt out three great big sinners in our community and sacrifice them. A new season begins and the earth is dark and inviting, I think that's said. Now, select a season advisor from each house. Okay, three years remaining, spring. So I'm guessing like each turn is going to be like a season if I had to guess. Right, now how's this all work then? Because there's no tutorial whatsoever. Well, I'm guessing these down here are the five houses then. Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Divergent. So, ah, and they correspond to the bottom there. So, uh, ignorance, further discipline, penitence, obedience. But yeah, can't help but notice right now the Kigney are dissatisfied. Oh, flipping dear. Let's start the cathedral. Presumably that's where I live and there is a letter here. A letter reads, Leader, my mother does not abide by the rules of the church. I see her writing letters to someone she calls uncle who does not live here. Is that possible? Perhaps she has gone mad. Please help. So we've got ourselves here, Danica Blackborn of the Blackborn House. Fine, everyone's got the name of one of the five houses. She is penitent to fully expose this trait, use another inquiry or use this person during the season. Fine. But for the moment, we've just got a letter. Her mother has potentially been writing to people, so probably, yeah, we could either... House Blackborn will like it if we publicly reward the child for loyalty, and House Blackborn will not be thrilled if we seize Danica Blackwood and her communications. But if she's a sinner, we need to root her out because we might want to sacrifice her. So yeah, we're going to do that. When interrogated, Danica claims she never wrote any such letters, but you notice she does not look at her daughter, who stands apart cold-faced. Ignorance plus 15, House Blackborn approval, minus 7. Right, that probably wasn't a good thing in the end, but never mind. Yes indeed, unfortunately, ignorance has just gone up as a result. Actually wait, I'm in a cult. Ignorance might possibly be good, I'm not sure. Right, let's start with the Blackborn estate, as actually we were just dealing with them, fine. So they control the guardsmen of the village and interrogate rebels as needed. Ah, okay, so they're the police force, so if anything goes wrong, yeah, grabbing them is going to be a problem because they literally are the police. So, one inquiry remaining, obedience. Let's have a look to see what's going on here then. So everyone has two personality traits and we don't know what they are, and this guy's blatantly a bloody werewolf, but whatever. Um, talkative charts are a call, excitable and restless, many small cuts and scars on her arms and legs. Ah, from penitence. So if we got penitence up, make the sinful repent their crimes. Yeah, that seems useful. Right, let's learn what we can, therefore, about Danica. Convict, a minor virtue. Fine, so penitence is presumably on the up, therefore. So let's appoint ourselves an advisor here. It's going to be her, because we know for a fact she's got something good about her. So she gets to be the leader for a bit, or the advisor or whatever. I will seek forgiveness. Thank you, Your Excellency. No problem at all. And now we just go through the estates doing the same thing. So next up we have got ourselves devout followers with whips and hearing confessions. Okay, the confession -y house. And the matriarch here, Hannah Efferson, full of fervour. This person is rumoured to affect fervour. Okay, hang on. What does fervour do? Show our devotion through tireless labours. Alternatively, there's... Yeah, this guy is rumoured to be related to discipline. Resist all worldly temptations. Yeah, let's learn about him a bit more. Rumoured to be lacking fervour, dear oh flipping dear. Well, as apparently he's potentially got a bad thing about him, let's appoint her because she is supposed to be full of fervour, then we'll check on that next time. I feel most at home behind the pulpit at your side. Marvellous. Cadwell House, miners and merchants. Fine, so they're all about the money and the discipline. Once again, we know a little bit here. Knows too much. This person is rumoured to affect ignorance, undisciplined, lacking fervour. Oh dear, you've got some terrible, terrible children. You might need to do something about that. But, as you might be disciplined, let's learn about you. Disciplined but disobedient. 
Oh, flipping dear. Right, well... Turns out literally everyone's terrible. Um... Well, okay, fine. Rada it is, then. We know literally nothing about Rada. I'll give you real salt of the earth advice if you want it. Sure, we know nothing about you, but everyone else in your family appears to be terrible. Apart from Miri. Actually, you know what? She has a soft and soothing voice. Let's actually make Miri. I'll read your tea leaves for you. Well, that's just marvellous. Hopefully she's not evil or terrible or... I actually think everyone's evil here. We are part of an evil, evil cult. Right, over to the Osefka. A uh, hardy lot excelling at carpentry and masonry, building great monuments. Beautiful. And we know... Ah! We know nothing about the patriarch or the matriarch here. It turns out, well, you might be alright. Inquire about you. Athletic. Minor virtue, discipline plus ten. It's not actually a great virtue in terms of being, like, you know, particularly relevant to the whole cult thing. But go on. You seem competent enough. You can be the leader. And you will help improve village health, apparently. Well, that's good. And finally, these guys who are apparently, yeah, currently dissatisfied. Everyone else is... Oh, you're dissatisfied too because I kind of dragged in your elderly granny and interrogated her. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Right, uh, let's go over to you. And your responsibility is keeping ignorance down. Uh, any of you actually ignorant knows too much. Ooh, obedient. And you're wearing a nice hat. And you've actually got a silvered glass mirror. That strikes me as the sin of vanity. We might have to burn you for that. Ah, except I don't actually have an inquiry here. Uh, did I only get four? I'm not sure. I don't actually have one on this occasion. Fine. Well, let's appoint you because you are at least obedient. And you've got a mirror. With pleasure. Oh, you accepted that a bit too much. You're supposed to kind of be like, you know, ass to do it. And you're supposed to say, oh, no, I couldn't possibly. But if you insist, Your Excellency, you're not supposed to say, oh, yeah. Yeah, with pleasure am I going to take this position of authority. No, 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 no. But all right. So, we've got all these people set. So now we begin the season. And hopefully I've made a good selection here. Yeah, begin the season. So a new month begins. Select one to three advisors. Ah, okay. So now, they can do things pertaining to their various skills. Well, we do actually have a problem right now with penitence. So you can get on with that. Marvellous. I'll prepare my notes. A sermon is in order. So she is now going to be doing some good old penitence. But there may also be an impact on further and on something else. But we can't see it just yet because we don't know what her personality traits are. I see. As for you, you seem obedient. So, ignorance plus five. Is that good or bad? I'm not sure. In a cult, that may be good or bad. There may be an impact on... Okay, it looks like it's going up, which strikes me as as good, I guess. Being ignorant of the sinful past is good. Basically, all of these want to be going up. And you're athletic, so we want to be having that going up too. So, yeah. Further plus three. Discipline plus three. That's all good stuff. Lovely. So begin the month with those three advisors, because I'm not convinced I know enough about these other people. Right. Begin the month. Lovely. So, this woman tried to burn the books, but unfortunately, it was a poor outcome. She found only a few scribbled scraps of old world literature. There were no bonfires, so ignorance actually went down a level. Fine. So that's stuff that might have happened, but it turns out not to have done. Now, she followed my every suggestion, so obedience, however, has gone up by a certain amount. And her behaviour had an unknown impact on our community. So because we don't know what a lot of traits are, therefore something else may have happened, but we're not quite sure what it was. Okay, next up. So, average outcome. Vase and urge the labourers in carving and sanding, and a small shrine to our god was crafted. Fervor plus three. Lovely. He leads the village in morning exercise classes because of his virtue. Discipline plus three. Beautiful as well. However, vice rumour. He's rumoured to be unrepentant. When asked about sins, Vason shrugs and changes the subject. So penitence just went down. But I think someone else was penitencing anyway. Oh dear. Right. Poor outcome for the whole penitence situation. Hannah granted forgiveness to sinners without punishment, causing confusion and dismay. Hannah spends extra time at the monument construction site, so further's gone up a small amount too. Vice rumour... Hannah is rumoured to be knows too much. Hannah polls the town their thoughts about a library? A library? Oh dear, you're not getting into this cult thing at all. Right, so that was all three of them. So as a result, how much the houses do or don't like me shuffle around too. It's, it's not really my fault, quite frankly. 
Like, you did a terrible job. I trusted you and you did a bad job. Not my flipping fault. Right, so that is the first season. Oh, no, that's the first flipping month. Right, okay. So all of you potentially get another go yet. Penitence went badly last time. It's really low right now. Okay, if you let me down again, there is a very, very real risk that you're going to end up being, like, you know, put to death at the end of this year. Just FYI. Fine. You know what? Miri and Danica get a go as well, given we gave these guys a go previously. Let's see how they do, see if we can learn about their vices and faults. So, Miri actually did a competent job confiscating some goods, so discipline went up. We don't know about her virtues, so therefore we don't know what impact that had on the community. And Miri is rumoured to be lacking in fervour, so fervour might have gone down a tiny bit. But fervour's okay for the time being. Next up. Great outcome! Marvellous! So this time, Hannah basically made up for her failings by adding some extra whipping in. Beautiful. Till tears and blood soaked the earth. Marvellous. She spends extra time at the monument. Further goes up again. Vice discovery. Hannah's discovered to be an artist. Oh dear. Organising secret poetry readings. Ignorance minus ten. Hannah. Hannah, you've let me down with this art and poetry. Meanwhile, Danica has actually done a competent job with investigating heresy. Obedience has gone up. Penitence has gone up plus three as well. Beautiful. However, she's rumoured to be undisciplined. She arrives late to every advisory meeting, mumbling an apology. Discipline's gone down. But discipline's okay. Fine. We've salvaged penitence a little bit, but it's still not looking great. And... Okay, good. Everyone's happy, with the exception of over here, where unfortunately the Kegney family is not so thrilled. But everyone else, really satisfied, pretty satisfied, less dissatisfied than they used to be. Okay, next up, new month, May. Once again, we could do stuff, but... I think you did a competent job last time. You did a competent job... Artist, major vice, yeah, ignorance could go down significantly because of that. So we can't trust her to do anything. We may have to put her to death because ignorance minus 30 is pretty major. Now, I think you did an okay job last time. Let's give you a go at least because, yeah, burning books, ignorance, you seem to be a bit obedient. We'll give you another go to see what else shows up. And you did a competent job as well. So again, let's see how they do. So average outcome. Ignorance has gone up a little bit. She actually found some more books this time. Virtue discovery. She's discovered to be elegant. She makes it fashionable to be organised obedience plus one. And we don't know what her vice is yet. We still have no idea what that is. Fine. Uh, Vasin builds a monument. A great outcome. Fervor plus five. Also the excise class discipline plus three. And we now know for certain his vice is weasel. Somehow doesn't find time to go to confession. Penitence minus six. Fine. So if we let him do stuff, he has a chance of having a really good impact on fervor and discipline, but penitence will go down, and that's already pretty on the low side, to be honest. Average outcome for investigating heresy, obedience plus three, penitence goes up plus three as well, but because penitence has just fallen, I suspect possibly she's having some form of impact on penitence that's not great, and that should be now... Ah! Bare minimum, you're a bit happier than you used to be. Yeah, the situation seems under control apart from penitence, which is very bad. I'm not sure what that actually means. We'll see. A season's end draws near. A sacrifice must be made. Aha! Okay, it's a sacrifice every single quarter. And I need to basically sacrifice someone out of these five people I've selected. Okay. Weasel. Penitence minus 20. I mean, that's a pretty big problem because penitence isn't great right now. But ignorance minus 30 is pretty major too. Yeah, minus 30 ignorance. We can't be having that. You've done a competent job, Hannah, but it's time for you to go. Sorry. However, because she's got some form of virtue, but we don't know what it is. Villagers who trust Hannah's reputation will feel conflicted and they'll lose fervor. But we've got plenty of fervor already. However, because she's got a major vice... As a result, they'll be inspired to greater ignorance through the purging. So we could spare her or sacrifice her. No, I'm going to sacrifice a bit of fervor for loads of ignorance. Sacrifice her so she is now gone. There we go. Take her over to the altar. Pop her on that. Nice little stabby, stabby, stab. Bit of flash of red. Marvellous by Hannah. You really, really shouldn't have done that. 
Through sacrifice, thy will be done. We sacrifice the life of Hannah in the name of... Ooh, we know the name now. Chernobog. Not the best name for a god, but all right, fine. And the good of our people, our condolences to Epheson. Just sacrifice, so House Epheson solemnly mourns Hannah. So, as a result, it was a just sacrifice because we knew for a fact that she actually had a major vice. So therefore, even though they're not thrilled, all the other houses actually like us better for that. Indeed, we've actually been praised by the villagers for ridding their community of a blighted soul because she was known to be an artist. So ignorance goes way up, further a bit down, except that beautiful. The night before a new season, a whisper caresses your dreams. My faithful servant, I await your devotion. Encourage penitence, deserved suffering for mortal sins. The teller of lies, give him to me. Okay, we've actually got a request here. Yeah, there are fewer and fewer confessions made. I must encourage penitence by the end of this season. Okay, so, normally, the threshold seems to live, I think that's like 25. Like, you've got to keep it over 25. If it drops below 25, then our mad god beneath the waves gets angry at us and says, look, there has to be a bunch of penitents. Bloody deal with it, all right. So, who's responsible for penitence right now? It's your penitence, aren't you? Yeah, you guys. Um, so, you guys respond to penitence. We need to do some inquiries with you. So, we killed you. What else have we got here? Discipline, potentially lacking in fervor. We've got, we've got plenty of fervor. You're flipping unrepentant, which isn't great. Okay, right. Let's just inquire you and see what we can learn here. So, disciplined and complacent, further minus 10. Okay, that's acceptable. Like, clearly he doesn't have a vice related to... Yeah, he's got a minor vice, not a major one. That's acceptable. I'm appointing him as leading. You better do a good job, by the way, because you're going to be, like, doing every single month. You're going to be doing this. All right, so do a flipping good job. I've also got to find the teller of lies. So, someone is a liar. And we've got to find out who it is and potentially sacrifice it. Now, is this letter anything to do with that? Ah, the Cadwell family have decided to write to me. Ah, Miri! She was actually uh, our representative, of course, uh, last season. The letter reads, Beloved leader, yesterday when I went to pool water from the well, my bucket came up with a skull-shaped leaf. I dare not leave my house until I receive your blessing, lest I risk Lord Chernobog's wrath. Okay, House Cadwell can take care of this, or offer your blessing, encourage us further. Or potentially mirror the rituals of... Ah! Reminder of the rituals of repentance. Good. Let's get some penitence going on here. Spot on. So penitence up by 10. I could have had a house like me more. But this house already seems to be okay with me. They're neutral. It's fine. So that's good. Bit of extra penitence immediately. We needed that. Now what else can we learn here? Over in Blackbourne. So Danica. You did an okay job, didn't you? But you were undisciplined. We've got plenty of spare discipline. So that's not the worst thing in the world. You two are... Ah, but you're penitent. Okay. Let's learn about you. Casimir, you are just... Ooh, a major virtue. Penitence plus 15. I think we found our new advisor. Casimir, well done. Okay, so over in Blackbourne, you can get penitence up in a hurry because you've got a really good penitent nature. Spot on. Right, that's excellently good news. Over to the Cadwells. The Cadwells we had, uh, who was last time? Ah, it was Miri last time. Yes, uh, lacking fervor, undisciplined, knows too much. Disciplined, disobedient, don't know anything about. Yeah, we didn't know anything about Rada. She was just kind of there. You might be lacking fervor. Hmm. Yeah, let's learn more about the patriarch here, Preben. Let's just inquire about him, see what we can learn. He is... Chaste. Discipline plus 10, but potentially obedience goes down a bit. We'll maybe let you have one go, it'll be nice to learn about you. We'll see just how bad this disobedience is. Just don't touch me. Okay, that was a concerning thing to say, whatever. Over in Slytherin, meanwhile, athletic but a weasel. Penitence, ah, penitence minus 20. Yeah, that was a problem. But you all have you all have problems, right? I need to inquire about one of you. Spoiled brat of a son who always begs for sweets and wakes up long after everyone else has finished breakfast. Possibly lazy, yeah, undisciplined. The problem is, even though athletic is fine, that weasel thing, we can't be having that. Right. 
We'll give you a go and we'll learn about you, but potentially we'll only let you do one thing. Finally, over to the Kegneys who don't like me that much. You, we learnt you were elegant. Obedience plus five. Okay. We don't know anything else yet, and I sadly cannot inquire about you. Fine. Let's give you a second rollout. You did okay last time. It will be nice to learn more about you. Right. Job done. Begin the season. So, one to three advisors. So, first up, we've got a few things to learn here, which is... First up, ah, of course. So, Casimir Blackborn, you're definitely doing this. Penitence and Obedience way up. You seem like a really good egg. Unless you've got a really major vice we don't know about yet, we'll be keeping you around. Uh, you could get... Fervor minus ten. We've got plenty of fervor. Let's learn about you, and hopefully you can actually get some... Ooh. Okay. Why did that just go red? Fine. You potentially have a negative impact on... Well, we'll give it a go. We'll let you have a go. We'll see what's going on here. And as for you, discipline plus 10, minor virtue, chase, potentially disobedient. We've got plenty of discipline. Let's learn what you have to do. Fine. Let's see what happens here. Let's kick it off. So... Poor outcome. So, discipline minus one. This is, yeah, the chase guy. Apparently, he's scarred. Okay, so, scarred is... Uh, apparently, that is obedience minus ten. That's no good. But, discipline plus ten. Okay, fine. That's... And you loudly shame a couple holding hands in public. Discipline plus three. Okay, so, discipline went uh, down one because you apparently did a very bad job with the old discipline situation. But, you made up for it with your virtue. But, in general, that didn't work out well. So, maybe we don't let you do anything again. Now, over you. Average outcome. Penitence plus four. Good. You are athletic too. Discipline plus three. But as it turns out, uh, Nikolai suggests we've done enough and Chernobog is happy now. Yeah, complacent. Fine. So, further can go down. But athletic, not bad. That's, that's okay. You've come up with a decent result there. You, meanwhile, obedience plus five and penitence plus five. And we don't know what his vice is. I'd say we just let him keep doing his thing. Like, he's just done a pretty good job there. Though, admittedly, the Kignies aren't thrilled because they didn't get a go this season. But that's fine. That's all A-OK. -okay. For the most part, we're all right. Right, into July, you have another go. You did a good job. You are doing great. You can actually come in and have a good job too. You, let's learn more about you and see what happens. Begin the month. So, average outcome for burning books. You've got ignorance up a bit. Obedience up a tiny bit too. And uh, we still don't know what your vice is. But penitence just started flashing, so I'm worried it might have been that. Okay, building a monument. Great outcome. Well done. Fervor plus five. Fervor as well. Potentially up a little bit. But undisciplined. Fine, so discipline went down a tiny bit too. Next result, average outcome, just... Ah, disobedient. We finally learn what his uh, trait is. But it's a fairly minor one, all things considered. Potentially, he's disobedient. So he revises the code of laws with new, more confusing interpretations. But that's fine. We've got plenty of obedience for the time being. It's penitence that matters. As long as penitence went up by five, that's okay. And that goes up, that goes up, that goes down, that goes down... Everyone's broadly okay with the exception of the kidneys, but that's all right. Right, into a new month. Penitence is still worryingly low. You need to get back out there and just keep doing this. You need to get back out there and keep doing this. Fine. If we get some good dice rolls, penitence will be sorted out. The question is, who is the liar? Because we were told, find the liar. And we haven't found a liar, to be perfectly honest. I'm not quite sure who the liar is. So, Chernobog might not be thrilled, because we're potentially going to be sacrificing someone who's not actually, you know, the liar and all of that. Right, you have another go. Let's see what... No, you definitely have a bad impact on penitence, don't you? Yes, yes, you definitely do. Uh, as do you, oh dear. And as do you, potentially. Right, well in that case, just those two then. So, we've got average outcome for some good penitence, some good whipping. Discipline goes up as well. Fervor goes down five. But that's still good. That's overall a pretty good net result. So, I'm glad he's here. And obedience plus five. Penitence plus seven. That's good. And obedience minus ten. Ah, he's cynical. Okay, that is a minor vice apparently. But it's probably worth it because it gets obedience down. But penitence up. 
Apparently Penitence is still not where it wants to be. It was supposed to be 60. We've only got it to 57. Oh dear. Um, the Dark Lord might not be overwhelmingly thrilled by this, actually. Oh dear. Season's end draws near. A sacrifice must be made to protect the village. Yes, it most definitely should be. Now, what are we going to do here? Preben, I'm going to be honest. You haven't really done anything that bad, but you are kind of useless. Because, yeah, that scarred thing, obedience, minus 10, discipline, plus 10. Yeah, Preben, sorry, you're being sacrificed, by the way. Um, so, hang on, that's Cadwell. Cadwell is currently, ooh. It's okay, um, but this will, ah, this will, wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, no, 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 no. Is there anyone I can sacrifice to encourage penitence? Um, aha! Here we are. Right, the villagers won't find this sacrifice very inspiring, barely raising their penitence. So, and Kigneys will be outraged since I know nothing of her transgressions. Fine, so that's deemed to be a bad thing to do, yes. Meanwhile, if I were to sacrifice someone with only a very minor vice, yeah, Blackborn would be outraged because the transgressions are forgivable. So I need to find someone with... Uh, oh dear. No one's got a major vice. Ooh, this isn't going to go down well. Um, well, you do have... Yeah, sorry about this. I could, I could spare him. I could spare him. But if I sacrifice him, major virtue, so they'll lose discipline, majorly, because they're horrified by his death. It will create some bonus obedience, but only a tiny bit, and... Okay, you get spared on this occasion just to see what happens as a result. So, oh no, no, I've got, oh dear. There's no choice, someone's got to be sacrificed. Oh, oh dear. Um, okay, which house actually likes me right now? Because then it would be okay. The Yosefkas and the Ephesons like me. So, if I were to outrage them, that'd be acceptable. So, you, yeah, they'll be outraged, but, and I'll actually go straight down to flipping rebellious. Oh dear, right, okay. What about you? You'll be dissatisfied but not rebellious, but it will slightly raise discipline because I know about an uncertain vice and they'll lose a bit of... Yeah, this is probably the best option. Sorry, you have to go, bye. This is a bit unfair, to be honest. I should have actually just kind of lined someone up with a more major vice, but I didn't really kind of discover anyone desperately, you know, problematic to murder, so never mind. So, we've sacrificed her, sacrificed for a minor sin, so as a result the house doesn't like it, but all the other houses are fine because they weren't sacrificed, so that's good. Uh, and the villagers are wondering exactly whether any soul is safe from the Lord's Wrath. Discipline plus five, further minus ten. Except that, yep, yeah, now it is August. And we have got ourselves, ooh, leaves falling, and yes, this house is now not thrilled. And the penitent situation has indeed been sorted out. Now what are we going to do in terms of finding a liar? Who potentially is a liar? Let's actually... Let's learn more about you. Why can I never learn about these guys? Is it because it's the ignorant house? For some reason, like, they're like the intelligence gathering house or something. So as a result, you can't learn about them. Um, well, you're clearly doing something bad to penitence. So, you know what? Sagan, you just get to have a go. You just get to have a go because... Actually, let's actually um, use the flavor text because we can learn a little bit of a hint from that. So, uses his free time to reread the scripture again and again. That seems good. Very bright child learnt to read at an early age. Ooh, too intelligent for her own good. Yeah, reread the scripture over and over again. Nice and holy and whatever. Good. So, we'll get him in there. Meanwhile, over to the Asefka. Sorry about the whole sacrificing her thing. In all fairness, she didn't really desperately deserve it. He has a bad impact on penitence, which I can't allow right now. So, that's unfortunate. Let's learn something about... Oh, I can't... How exactly does inquiry work? I think I know exactly how it works. You can't inquire if the house doesn't like you. Okay, I see. Yeah, fine. So, over in Efferson, where they do like me, I can inquire away. You have got a very minor vice, but athletic is good. Which is nice, you're unrepentant. Anyone else? Confessional brooding. Doesn't seem to have much of an appetite. Might be sickly, not sure. Athletic but complacent. Okay, fine. Let's start learning about this guy. 
So we've got a house of penitents where multiple people are unrepentant. Well, that's just bloody great. Okay, let's give brooding around the confessional. That doesn't sound good, does it? Okay, we'll give him a go. We'll give the kid a go because, actually, no. You're a relatively safe pair of hands. Complacency is a small vice. It's okay. And athletic is nice to have too. We'll just kind of reappoint you and it's fine. Over to the Blackborn. So we had Danica previously. Ah, yes. Cynical. Obedience goes down, but penitence goes up. That is good. Uh, we could inquire about someone else. Convict. Penitence plus 10. Minor virtue. Undisciplined. Discipline goes a bit down. I mean, that's, that's less of a drop. Arguably, that's... Yeah, maybe we'll stick with Danica. Let's see what we can learn about the werewolf, though. Full of fervor. Well, that's good. Okay, let's give him a go. Let's give him a go. Let's give the werewolf a go here. Uh, next up, Cadwell. So previously, ah, yes, Preben, who just escaped. Just escaped from being murdered last time. Mainly because everyone seems to be terrible in this house. You're undisciplined. Everyone's bloody undisciplined. Right, what scores can we learn about you? Blushes easily, much to everyone's amusement. Okay. So, in this cult, probably having modesty is a good thing. And we want to challenge Lord Cadwell to a gruel-eating competition and one, possibly greedy. Okay, very neat and organised person, never a hair out of place. Soft, soothing voice. Mary did an okay, competent job last time, I believe. Further is... Uh, well, actually, we've got loads of discipline. We've got loads of spare discipline. Let's go for... Let's give Rada a go. We've got loads of discipline, so hopefully she's got a good virtue to make up for her vice. And finally, over to here. Ah, yes. The problem, everyone's kind of terrible. And he was a spoilt brat of a son, so even though we don't think about him, he's probably awful as well. Okay. This is the, the further house. We could use that being up. Rumoured to be ignorance, lacking in fervour. Kind of lacking in... Well, ignorance. Okay, ignorance is fine right now. Always mumbling. Ah, always mumbling a prayer. That's probably a good thing. Fine. Let's give him a go. So, begin the season. September rolls around. We don't really know anything about you right now, but we're going to give you a go just to see what happens. So, actually, you can... Can you see what... No, you can't see what's going to happen unless you already have a vague view what he's going to be like. So we know in theory he's going to increase ignorance, but we can't be sure. Fine. Uh, you are also going to be... Yeah, knows too much. Let's give you a go as well, just to see what happens. Uh, and you, we're going to give you a go to see what happens too. So let's just see what these largely untested people do. So we did a good job burning some books. We don't know what his virtue was. We don't know what his vice was. Okay, doesn't seem to have had a major impact though. Meanwhile, building a monument, this new guy over in the Osefkas, he did okay, full of fervour. Well, that's rather good, okay, and as a result, fervour goes up, but ignorance goes down a tiny bit as well. No problem there. Average outcome, so discipline plus three, unknown virtue, vice discovery, she's an embezzler. Oh dear, lost the receipt, major vice. Dear, oh dear. So, just so you know, there's a good chance you're getting executed at the end of this season because we've discovered a major vice which means I can execute you without anyone being too annoyed. Beautiful. So, next up, you're happy, you're, well, happy enough. No one's rebellious yet, that's the important thing. Next up, into October. So, we could probably do with a little bit of, yeah, let's give you a go. And you a go as well, because you seem to do a competent job, all things considered, which is marvellous. Next up, we know about your major vice, we don't need to bother with you anymore, but full of fervour, knows too much. I mean, that's potentially worthwhile. Let's get the fervour back up again, please. Begin the month. So, new monument, fervour plus three. Fervour again goes up a bit. Ah, we just got your vice, curiosity. Not the worst thing in the world, though, to be honest. That seems reasonable, actually. You seem competent enough. We might keep you around. Curious, only minus ten. It's a very minor vice. There are many worse things. Meanwhile, Nikolai, you did some good flagellating. Then some more disciplining. Further goes down a bit. But yeah, you are definitely worth keeping around. You do a competent job. You definitely end up with a net gain. So, obedience plus five. Let's see what else you did. Virtue discovery. He's violent. Further goes up. Okay. 
That is a minor virtue. So, he gets obedience and fervor up. He might, however, have a vice. Okay. Straight on. Obviously, all of the relationships shuffle around. Finish that. Final month. Let's give you a go again, because you actually just did a competent job there. Now, I would like to learn about... Yeah, I'd like to learn about this guy. Let's give this guy a go. We know about your faults. So, unless Danik turns out to... Uh, actually, Pentance needs to go up. Let's give that a go as well, because I think Pentance might be sneaking down a couple of these other guys. So, burning a bit of books. Still don't know what your... Ooh. Well, aren't you mysterious? We don't know anything about you. Some good flagellating has taken place. Discipline snuck up as well. And further goes down a tiny bit because of his complacency. But that is a very minor sin. Obedience goes up. So does further. And we still don't know what your vice is. We just know about the violent virtue. Okay, fine. Everyone, meanwhile, just shuffles around for that. Straight on. Sacrifice must be made. Well, I think we know what's going on now. You, my good woman, unfortunately, happen to be an embezzler. A very major vice. Very, very major indeed. So the Cadwells... Yeah, and the Cadwells don't even hate me that much yet. So you need to be sacrificed. Uh, so bye. And that gets discipline way, way, way up. And a bit of ignorance down. Fine. So take Rada over to the altar. She gets herself stabbed. Lovely. Ooh, that's new, I think. That's more blood than usual. We sacrificed the life of Rada. Well, that's just marvellous. It was a just sacrifice. So as a result, they don't hate me as much as they would have done normally. Marvellous. Everyone's pretty happy with that. New season. Rain freezes. And I've got a letter. Ooh, a thing. So, Bogdan Efferson has begun a fast and refuses to eat in honour of Chernobog. It's not a ritual from the scripture. And House Efferson worries that his piety may end in death. Will you help Bogdan? Okay, he's potentially unrepentant. So, what do we want to do? We can bring glory to our Lord, let Bogdan suffer. Or increase fervor and discipline. But they're both okay. Alternatively, I can increase discipline and unknown. Well, I feel like Pentance needs to go up. I'm worried that Pentance is constantly slipping. This is a concern, so we're going to go for the other one. What's that dumb? So, uh, discipline up. 10, and Efferson apparently liked me more as well. Good, good, good. Efferson are up to... Oh, they're up to plus 40. Good. I can sacrifice one of theirs this season, and they'll be happy with that. Speaking of which, Efferson! Oh, no, I don't want to sacrifice one of yours. You've actually got yourself a competent, competent guy here. Yeah. We might just keep him going, because he's actually pretty damn good. <laughs> then we may as well, as we've got the inquiry, figure out what else is going on here. Yeah, what's your deal? Undisciplined. Not the worst thing in the world. Fine. Let's just get you in. You're a safe pair of hands. So I've got a good, nice, kind of reliable person here. Over to the Blackborns, who seem to be okay with me for the time being as well. Danica. You've done a good job before. How about you? Has the worst memory. Sometimes I think she could forget her own name. Disobedient, disobedient. Okay. You're probably going to do the exercise thing, because you're fit as a fiddle. You are... Okay, let's inquire about him. Unrepentant. Okay. So, fervor and obedience go up, but he does force penitence down. Right, okay. Called the advocate for constantly arguing. Let's give you a go. Let's give... Ooh, or... Fit as a fiddle. Disobedient or... Yeah, the exercise thing. Let's learn about you as our lord demands. Right. Get out of there, over to the Cadwell. So, Rad is dead. Sorry about that, by the way. Thank you for inviting me in regardless. Now, sadly, we cannot inquire because we don't actually have a good relationship with these guys right now. Preben did a competent enough job. Obedience falls, but discipline goes up. Discipline's already really, really damn good, though. Lots of these people lack fervor or discipline, but these are okay. Valen can't seem to keep his voice down. One challenge gruel eating contest. Neat and organized, never a hair out of place. Soft and soothing voice. Let's give you a go. Let's see what we can learn about you. See if that neatness is a virtue or a vice. Possibly it's vanity. Hearts must beat with the utmost fervor. Yeah, because Miri's already dead. You are a weasel, which is not a good thing. Now, fervor. There's plenty of fervor floating around. 
Well-trained pet Labrador Retriever. That's not exactly a personality trait, that's just a pet. And answers most questions with strange sounds and animal noises. Okay, that, that's slightly beyond ignorance, to be honest. And spoiled brat of a son. What about you? Obedient. Okay. Obedience going up in return for fervor. I could deal with that. Let's see what you've got. Let's see what you and your flipping Labrador Retriever... What? Me? Um, I, I can help? Look, if there's ever a problem, just ask your Retriever. Alright, the Labrador Retriever will know what to do. Meanwhile, over to the Kidneys who don't actually flipping like me that much. However, I can actually inquire with them for once, which is marvellous. So, tried to commit suicide in the past. It's been some years since last incident. Lacking fervour. Bright child learned to read at an early age. Yeah, we still don't know anything about you. I think you did a competent job. It's just we never learned anything about you. I suspect she may be illiterate. Okay. Yeah, hang on. What about... I think we know that she's got minus penitence, though, which is dangerous. I'm going to learn about him. Knows too much. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I'm going to reappoint him. See if we can figure out what's going on there. Yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Begin the season. Let's see if we can learn some stuff here. Into December. Now, we've got a whole bunch of new people here. So, you and you definitely need to do something. We need to get Pentance up a little bit too. So, we'll just let you as a safe pair of hands do this as well. So, the confiscation of goods. The new person. I'm not sure if you're a guy or a girl. Poor outcome, you didn't do a good job confiscating goods. Uh, virtue rumour, you may be disciplined. Okay, that's good. If you're disciplined and you're doing disciplined things, that's good. But further may have fallen. So, probably not a major result there. You did some good flagellating and discipline goes up. Yeah, you are just a safe pair of hands. You're a great pair of hands. Next result, obedience goes up. We don't know what your virtue is. And vice. She revised the code of laws. Oh dear. Don't do not do that. That's probably bad. Potentially disobedient. Okay. Keep on going here. Into January. So we know you know too much. Ignorance is fine. Let's give you a go. For the time being. I mean it's a little bit annoying that you are the ignorance household. And you are apparently ignorant. But whatever. You my good man. You might do a competent job. Let's just learn a bit more about you. Might be lacking in... Yeah, we kind of... Ooh. We haven't got a major voice here, do we? No, that's a concern. Confiscate the goods. Let's get the heresy going on here. We've got plenty of discipline. We need to learn about... Please, someone have like a massive flaw that we're going to discover here. Still don't know about that. And... Yep, yeah, more thoughts on a flipping library. Oh, dear. No idea what your virtue is. Further up for you. You're still doing... Ah, gentle. That's still a minor vice, though. Yeah, so Fervor's going down because you're a bit too gentle, apparently. So you are a gentle soul. Unfortunately, that's not a major vice. Impulsive. That's also a minor vice. Dear, oh, flipping dear. So that's obedience going down. And we don't know what your virtue is. Oh, dear. Right, crack on. We've just got one more month. And I don't think we're going to discover anything major about these people, unfortunately. I mean, you're pretty competent, all things considered. That gentle, that impulsive for obedience down. That's... That's concern. And the Blackborns, the Blackborns like us. The Ephesians really like us, but I'm not sacrificing you. Unfortunately, it may just have to be... I think it may just have to be you. Unless I discover something really important about you. Let's just get Pentance up a bit more. And you, let's bloody hope we're actually going to discover something about you. So you once again. Yep, you've done it. Aha! Penitent! Okay. That's good. Okay. Penitent knows too much. That's not the worst thing in the world, actually. You're competent. Okay, Sagan, we might keep you around. So Nikolai whipped the sinful with purifying joy. Tears and blood soaked to the earth. Marvellous. Discipline. Further. Okay. Yeah. Plus nine points. Minus three. Love Nikolai. Nikolai's great. Now what are we going to learn about you? Virtue rumour. Discipline. Okay. We knew about that. And she changes the ritual ceremonies from week to week. Stop doing that thing. Right. As a result, everyone says that. And it's time for a sacrifice. Unfortunately... No one's really too terrible, so it's going to be Maya, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Well, actually, 
They would be outraged, but we kind of have to because we haven't got a major vice present. Okay, what needs to be got? I mean, obedience going up would be great, to be honest. Yep, if we sacrifice her, obedience goes up, which will be good. Blackborn will be outraged, but they already like me, so it should be okay. Let's go for it. We've got plenty of spare discipline, given that's going to drop. Sorry, Maya. Honestly, you don't really deserve this, but you were the worst of an actually surprisingly competent bunch. So down she goes. Have we got more blood going on? No, she had much less blood in her than previously. Through sacrifice, thy will be done. A new season begins. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. That is the first year and four people have been sacrificed. I've actually been pretty fair. It's been one from each house, apart from Gryffindor over here, who have actually been spared because Dumbledore just plays favourites. Blatant, it's completely unfair what he did at the end of book one. Bloody ridiculous, awarding all those extra points after they'd already put up the winning banners for Slytherin. I was on Team Slytherin, damn it. I was all in favour of Slytherin. But you know what? I think you get the flipping point. It's a simple little strategy game. It's got a cute aesthetic. It looks really nice and pretty. It's got a nice script and a nice atmosphere to it. I'm not sure what happens at the end of three years. That's just the end of the first the three years. If you want to know yourself, I'm guessing we'd like, you know, take some people over there. Potentially our Dark Lord rises out of the sea or something. Good old Chernobog. Nice guy. Had drinks with him the other night. Well, in that case, there is a link in the description below so you can check this out for yourself. But yeah, it's nice. It's not going to change the world, but it's a nice little thing. So I'm sure we will have something similar in future because it does indeed have a very, very nice aesthetic. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd and this has been The Shrouded Isle. Thank you very much and goodbye. You know, I really hope we've agreed open borders with Japan, by the way. Otherwise, they have basically just invaded. I may have picked the wrong fight over... Yep. And uh, my sisters, of course, have got even more flipping high-tech, though mysteriously still completely dependent on, you know, an aqueduct. Now, I'm not saying your entire army is mostly already dead, but it kind of actually is.